Hello everyone, Pro here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 on Fox Farms. So have you seen the last episode? I got that other field planted, prepped, everything. Got my factories uh, loaded up with the wheat and the straw. So we'll go over there, and plus I'm going to fast forward a couple months so that way I can turn all that corn into chaff and put the chaff in the silos and make some silage. A real quick, so I was over here at my house, and I was putting down a couple of these uh, subsidy or uh, subsidized signs or whatever. And I started hearing a weird noise, and it's coming from this little guy. And it's a little weather station that's supposed to help improve the weather. And I don't want it, at least not right now. Because, you know, <laughs> knock on wood, I haven't had much of an issue with uh, weather in any of my saves, so it's every time. But anyway, yeah, I got a couple of those down like I did on the last one, just so that way it helps out just a tiny bit. Nothing overboard. I'm going to go over here to my factories, so that way when I fast forward for the first month, I can just move some stuff out of the way. Because bread's going to pile up over there. Uh, nothing's gonna... Oh, oh, actually. I should probably do that then. Because it will pile up. So... I don't change this. There we go. Distributing... Okay. So that change it for everything then? I want that to store, and I want that to store. Okay, yep. That goes for all of them. Okay, perfect. Good thing I remember that. Because now the flower goes straight from that into that for this to produce bread. So let's go ahead and jump to the next month. And now there's any... Okay then. So... Has not even been 9 o'clock yet? That's for some time there. Try this again. Not currently possible. Come on, man. Let me sleep. There we go. Just gotta give it a few minutes, or a couple seconds, or whatever. I don't know what the time is in between. This is, I said, I don't have any weather issues. Not training. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind the rain. I actually like the rain. So, the bread. Got that running. Got 457 liters of flour, so at least I know this is uh, distributing the flour over there. Still got 75,000 liters of wheat. How much manure do I have? Holy crap. 395,000 liters of manure. Um, how much does that thing hold? Ooh. Yikes. Um, okay. So what's the whole point of having 4,000 liters of straw? But yeah, it only holds 4,000 liters of manure. And I think it's just gonna fill up pretty quick. <laughs> okay, um... Let's, uh, where's my TD trailer? Who's it hooked up to? The truck? Okay. That's fine, I'll use this. So, yeah, that's interesting. Good thing I didn't just keep going. Like, in terms of accelerating the months. Because that would have uh, not did anything. wonder how long it'll take for it to uh, empty. Ah! Brakes on this trailer isn't the, aren't the best. Come on. I'm going to say this rating. Let's turn some lights on. It only feels right. I cannot back up right now. And let me turn the... Make the time actually move. In September. Is there anything to sell? Oh, I can even offload the maneuver here too. Odd. Well, that's going to take a little while. So, I'm going to let that sit there. That straw is still going pretty darn quick. So, it's going as. Okay, so we'll <laughs> that's at like times five speed during the day. You know what, let me, uh, let me stop that real quick. Dude, that's freaking insane. 
See those numbers down there? What in the world? Oh. It's gonna try to empty it because I see the little notification on the bottom. That's not what I want to do. That's doing its thing. And you're doing your thing. Okay. And when I turn on my strength and just move these guys out of the way for now. Okay. Where am I at on this? Only about halfway ish. Might just stop the time just so that way it'll stop trying to fill up as I'm letting it out. Okay, so while I wait for that to finish up, let's see what's in the discount store. Uh, the harvester's still there. Fast track is in there. Nice. Ooh, versatile. Four wheel drive. 130,000. Hmm. I would get it, but I already have a bank loan. Well, I technically, I do have the equipment that I have or need, so I'm not too concerned. Oh yeah, let's take a look at this. Because I got my oats in here. Really, only 95%? Normally it'd be 98. No, it would be 95. Never mind. Because I'm just not going to roll just to get that extra 10%, so I just don't see it as worth it. Yeah, look at that. What was it, like 350 some odd thousand liters? What was, what was in there to begin with? And I got 414 in here? I think it's insane. I'm actually going to stop the fire. Just because... I forget about it, it's just going to fill up and it's just not going to do anything. So... Oh, that just means the next month I'm going to do the same thing. So for now, I'm going to throw the manure in the silo. Now that I have that, I can actually get a manure spreader, which is what I would like to use for fertilizer. You know, let's hop into this truck here. I don't know why, but I just want to drive it. Let's go, actually, you know what? No, let's not do that. I just remembered, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need this still, so. Yeah, that thing's gonna. I bet you if I go over there, it's gonna ha already have like maybe 5,000 liters in it already. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I stopped the time, so no, it's not. Uh, urch, stop. Stop. Then we can do a better backup job here to get in a position. And. That'll work for me. Okay. Nope. So I had a thousand liters already. Got a little manure right there, so this is for show. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let me double check this over here because as far as now, let's go for the next month. Uh, this is forage. I'll just do the. Alright. Okay, so yeah. Six out of six for forage. I don't know why I said five of six. Maybe I could have done it last time. That is fine. You know what? It's not raining no more. It's a little overcast, but it's fine. No rain. So now, I'm going to lease that uh, forage harvester. Actually, what is on the shop today? Uh, a Zader tractor. Hmm. That's for a forage harvester, I believe, anyway. A little tractor, but what would I? I don't have a purpose for you. Twenty-two thousand dollars for a little tractor. Hmm. Means I can put a bigger motor in it, make it forty-three. I just don't have a use for you right now. Else I would. I don't have a use for this one either. Eventually I will. Um. Once again, three hundred ninety-three thousand liters. So this time I don't have to see your babysit. I'm just gonna let it fill this up while uh, I'm getting the other harvester. And I'm gonna let it empty in there. Let it do its thing. Now, harvester. 
Boom. Which one would I want to use? Obviously, maybe the cheapest ones. Is that oh, way I don't have to lease it, or lease it and not spend a lot leasing it. There we go. I think this will work perfect. <laughs> no. Maybe if it was a smaller field, maybe I'll use that one. Um, here's a crown, John Deere 305. This one probably wouldn't be a bad idea, except for I want to use my cheaty trailer to haul it behind it. So, looks like 305,000 is going to be the winner. Let's see, uh, do a long pipe, wheels. Um, my destroy the board don't look bad. Mission don't look bad. PKT don't look bad, but then again, I'm just leasing it, so I don't think it really matters. So we'll stick with that trailer board. Y tires. Uh, sure, why not? I don't care. I know it's adding more to it, but it's fine. That's your type. That's your block standard. Uh, I'm gonna hope the harvester connects to that anyway. Um, where's power wise? How much is that gonna be? 20,000 for the big one. Wow, it's a five thousand dollar difference. Okay. Um, is 17,000? Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, paint color's fine. It's John Deere. It's whatever. All right. So, I'm pretty much on house price of that. I could have bought that little tractor. Okay, so I could have actually did this. Where's, let me find that harvester again. Combinations. I don't need any of that stuff over there. So, nine meter. All right. I like it. I don't know why it does. I just gotta hunk the horn and everything I get into. <laughs> don't judge me. Alrighty. Get this thing on, a, on the way home, and hopefully the uh, trailer hooks up to the back. Yeah, and I forgot on the way back here I had the uh, trailer doing the, the maneuver thing. So thankfully it's done by the time I got here. Let's move uh, my bread out of the way. Oh, I should have seen what sold. Ah, no Bread wasn't or last month, right? Let's see, bread. October. It's actually this month. It actually sells out pretty well in this month. Hey. 34. Well that price ain't gonna change because I have the time paused. For the provision storehouse, huh? I'll have to find out exactly where. That place is at. So yeah, I can actually sell the bread today. Get a little extra cash. I'm gonna go dick this now. Empty this. And hope it stick or I hope I can hook it up to the harvester. Because it should be able to hold all of it. Ooh, depending on how much it's gonna produce. Because I'm not sure. Alright, so now I have. 808,000 liters. Oh, that's still on. Of, uh, let me in! Of, um, manure. Oh, I lost track of what I was saying because it wouldn't let me in my truck. Alright. Fuck this over here. Get back into this. Are you going to be able to hook up and play nice with this trailer? Please say yes. Hope I didn't have to need that other hitch. No. Because I'm going to give myself my, some money back. And see if that other hitch will work. No. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, uh, ah, here it is. Okay. So, with the, what I just did there. Is a thing to where we can take this. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that right now. It's, it's whatever. So we did that. 
Attacher type. Apparently I need this attacher block, apparently. Um, oh, you got tracks on this one? Here, let's do it. So I need 18,130. Oh, boom. Actually, yeah, I don't care. It's only 460 bucks. So 18,130. Boom. It's as if this mistake didn't even happen. Good. Take this. Put it over here. Try this again. Now will you hook up? Nice. Okay, let's do the pipe. Unfold that. Let's go get some chaff. This might actually take a little while. I'm gonna hit the headlands real quick and see just how much I get on just the headlands. Why are you not working? Uh, okay, this is a little disconcerting. Um, what if I did this? Oh, okay. Well, that's weird. I guess I've done fold the back trailer just for this to... Okay. Oh yeah, why aren't you backing up? Why aren't you moving? Oh, don't tell me. Alright, so let's go ahead and try the one with the bigger motor, shall we? Oh, this is really unfortunate. Okay, there we go. Nice. I'm gonna hire the worker so that we can get a straight line. Yeah, so I just said screw up with the bigger motor and, it, and it's doing it just fine. So I guess keep in mind if you're gonna use this little combo, I guess let's go for the biggest motor. I think it was like, what, 800 and some horsepower? Is what it needed? Let's see. 811? Well, I mean, I had 490 in there. Uh, if, you gotta think that'd be efficient, especially maybe with the tracks. I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But, I don't know. I'm gonna hit these headlands real quick. See how much I get. Wait, I skipped a little bit back there. Oh. I'm not gonna worry worry if it just skips a little bit. It's not a big deal. Alright, so just on the headlands, 226,000 liters of chaff. Um, so we'll, this thing's already 22%. I'm gonna go empty this in that production real quick. And then while this was doing its thing, I'm just gonna put it under cruise control. There's some contracts that pay some decent amount of money. And I have a plow. Oops. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> we'll just pretend all the crashes didn't happen. But, um... There's some decent money to be made right there. So let's, uh... Get this emptied into there. I will take my other John Deere. And... Hook the plow to it. I don't know where... Field number four must be close. Where is field number four? Uh, yeah, right there. Pretty darn big field. For 50 grand? That pretty much pays for the plow itself, I think. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Okay, so now I'm just going to hire the worker, let the worker do their thing. I want to buy one of these. I don't know why, but I just love forage harvesters. You know, like, just the guy I needed. Go over here. I should probably accept that contract. Oh, on the other side. Urch. And then with this, hopefully that contract will be done in no time. I should probably invest in that bigger plow. The same one like this, but it's a little bit bigger for doing the contract stuff, so that way we get it done a little bit easier. But yeah, there's other ones here too I might go ahead and do. No, screw it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do all these. And then uh, harvesting ones, soybeans, mmm, do that one too. 
putting my harvester to work. So I'm at least going to make decent money on the contracts. Alrighty, you just have at it. You go do your thing. And I have the diffs locked still, so... Let's see if it performs pretty well with this. And now since I got... Like this tractor... Since I got that harvesting contract now... The soybeans, so I don't have to worry about no different header. The game is getting a little bit laggy because of the workers. Just a little bit. You know that's a thing. And what field was it for the 16? And of course, I can't leave my workers unsupervised. I don't know why they stopped from that far away. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that field or that pole would uh, have something to do with it, but that far away, that makes no sense in my opinion. Let's go just line you up. You just go and do your thing. Okay. That other tractor is moving. This one here. Woo! You do your thing. Yeah, let's go back to this. Same now at this field. Oh, this is going to take a little bit. I mean, hey, decent money to be made though. I'm going to drop my thing there. All right, so on just the headlands, this thing only got 87%. Not bad. So far, I'm really liking this harvester. And I'm going to use this truck today. I have not used much of this truck at all. So now it's going to be hauling the soybeans for me. But yeah, just hit the headlands, so that way the worker should hopefully be better. Um, so far, the forest harvester seems to be working just fine. The plow tractor is just going insane. <laughs> Alright, now that you're empty, let's get you back on the field, get you doing your thing. So now, let this worker do their thing. Hopefully they running into no problems. But, <laughs> Uh, holy crap, 620,000 liters. Um, once it gets to the end here, I'm gonna have to stop it and, uh, go empty it out real quick. Yeah, like I said, this thing is just doing its thing. I feel it's gonna be done in almost no time. Alright. And it's just coming out of there still. I'm gonna go dump this. I'm gonna actually pull up my head so I don't hit my head on the, uh, Hilo. Hopefully that'll stop flowing by the time I get there. And, uh, no, it, it is not. It is just flowing. <laughs> Come on. You know. Oh! That is loud. Is it coming from the harvester? It is. That's loud. Uh, and I'm not even sure how much that thing can hold, and it's still going. Oh, and there we go. It's finally done. 701,000 liters of chaff. Heck yeah. Who needs to mow grass when you got corn? Dump you on in there. I am curious to see. Well, it's going to be more than a million, that's for sure. Looks like maybe a 2 million cap liter capacity. Because I'm about halfway. Nice. It should pretty much hold the whole entire field into it. Alright, so that will do for this episode of Farming Simulator 22. Got the contracts going. I'm going to collect those at the end of the... Or oh, actually, I'm going to collect those at the next episode. That's what I'm going to do. And also, I still have my bread to sell. So there's still money to be made. But I hope everybody enjoyed. And I will talk to you all later.